So it'll be your logo at the login screen, your color. Um, um, we do that through the integration process. We, we style this so it'll have your swim school name at the front in the login and it'll be all your look and feel so that your um, yeah. staff and everyone feel that this is your, your system, your platform. So what happens is that a user receives an email with a username and a password and the link to your site and then um, they just log in. So it's as simple as that. Whenever you're allocating them any work, any training or any work, um, the system automatically sends out an email to them with those details, just so that they um, can at any time log in, they're being notified through from the system. They don't have to be in the system to find stuff. Okay, so when we come in, this is the, the three main parts to the user dashboard. So this is what the users will see. The first tab, and this is where it opens up, is their to-do list. And so whatever you're allocating, and whether it be some worldwide swim school content, whether it be your policies, procedures, or your own training, they will um, be in this list. And at the top is what's due the earliest. So in other words, it puts a priority on it from what's due next all the way through. And if it's overdue, we have these little tabs that just show that things are overdue, not started, or they're in progress. So there's a couple of others um, that I'll explain later on. Um, for them to open up one of these training, all they have to do is click the open button. So basically they log in, the training's there, they click a button and the system will open up and it'll bring them back to the section that they were at last time they were logged in. And from there, yep. they can, the system will just start to play, play out. So I won't go through this too much because it'll use up a lot of bandwidth um, while we're on this, um, doing this sharing, but these lorries, um, worldwide swim school products, they're all broken down into sections and stages with quizzes going throughout it. And you can create those yourself um, to create your own training packages as well. Um, when they're finished with anything, they just click on the dashboard to go back to their to-do list. Um, and, and, and that's what the to-do list is all about. So the to-do list is, is basically a mixture of resources you want to share, um, and that, those resources can be PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoints, Word documents, um, or whatever, with images. The, um, these icons are for modules, so they're online framing. So, and those will be broken down in the sessions with Q&As um, built in so that you can test and understand the, 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 uh, the student or your teacher's um, knowledge base throughout it. And, and lastly, there is what we call a competency, and that's how you can track all their certification, licensing, and everything else. And that they'll probably one of them in this to do, in this completed. So once they finish any item in this in here, it then pops into their completed list, so that they still have access to it going forward. So it's not just yep. they get to see it once and then it's gone. They can go back at any time and review any of the information that they've been through in the past. So there's a couple of other icons in here. Um, so part of the resources is just a link. So you can actually just create links that link off to different web pages um, in the system so that if you want um, staff to go through certain material or it might be a YouTube um, video or whatever, you can just create these links. And then so you can yep. build up your own library of content that is you know, available free to the public on the net as well through this system. Yep. Um, yep. Um, this next icon is what we call an event. So anything, any training you do face to face, well, you can use this system to set up an event, a face to face event, notify all the users of that event and track their attendance and how long they attended to those events. And with that event tracking, you can also attach different items to it. It might be like an agenda or might be, you know, if it's a, at a, at a a conference center it might be, you know, where to go and, you know, with ordering food and all those sort of things. So you can have pre resources added to those events as well. And the system you have on the day, you can um, do the sign in through the computer, like you can have a laptop with you there or you can have an iPad or a phone and you'll be able to um, sign people in to the event as they're coming in and, and going. And they can, you can have them self sign in or you can assign them that they have to go. There's two processes. Um, with these icons, well, they're what we call competencies. So, you know, competencies are like your CPR, your senior first aid, your teaching licenses, your working with children card and that. So this 
system mm. automates all of that compliance for you. And you can get your staff to upload those details and any documents. So they'll, they'll go in through their to-do list, get told they need to put in their CPR details, and they'll put in when they complete it. The system will automate when their renewal dates are, put in their reference number off their certificate um, and their results, and then they can upload the document against it. And this does a couple of things. That's obviously not a document for CPR, but just something I put up there. And what this does mean is that then, no matter where that staff member is, they've got access to all of their compliance themselves just through your login, through their login. But you will be able to see all of their compliance and the system will automate all of the follow-up processes. And it'll also send you reports when people are coming near you to have compliance updated. So it's yeah. really well in that OHS space and the compliance space for your business. It automates all of that. Um, finally, the third main part of this, and this is up to you what um, you get to determine um, what sort of libraries of content that you want to give access to your staff. So in this instance, what I'm showing you here is the Worldwide Swim School Library. So you can, you can um, be paying for the Worldwide Swim School Library as a part of this package, and then with the Worldwide Swim School Library, it's broken up into all different categories, and also, in each of those categories, so if we've got about the toddlers, 12 to 36 months, then it has um, 35 different training items with inside of that category itself. And so I'll just scroll down so you can have a look at some of the content that's in there. Um, as, as well as that, what Worldwide Swim School does is it releases new content every month, new training material every month to assist with training benefits. Um, and they pop mm -hmm. into this uh, music month category. Um, but you as the swim school owner and operator, you have control um, to which of these categories your staff have access to or any. You may not want them to have access to them and you can create your own categories and put your own content in it. So this library is completely right. controlled for your end um, and going forward. So, so I can create my own folders and yes, basically it's like right. a, an archive. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. That's it's right. like so a filing cabinet. Sorry? It's like a filing cabinet that you you decide what the tabs are and what you put in them. Yeah. And we yeah. yeah. uh, have the key to get into which cabinet <laughs> or which file. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it's all online, they can access it through any device, whether it be a mobile phone, smartphone, whether it be a, 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 a tablet or a, a computer or laptop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, with the World Wide Swim School content, as you were asking before, you were, and I understand this, I've, I was a, a swim um, pool owner for 25 years, um, and mm -hmm. I sort of, everyone's teaching methodology slightly different, their levels are slightly different, they're what they're yeah. wanting to do. Yeah. Slightly different. The way Laurie's done this program is it's about the child's physiology and it's about their um, cognitive development. So everything that he's doing in these different age groups is broken down. So even when this is say zero to 12 months, within that 12 month period, there's really three different stages of, of uh, physical development and cognitive development. So he's broken down his training to what the child has the ability of and what skill base those children can achieve at those age groups. And that's broken down all the way to, um, till they're four, and then there's a learn to swim pathway from there um, after yeah. the, you know, they've got to that stage. So, you, you know, there's a lot of content there, and you can determine which of this content you allow your staff to see. So you can go through it all first yourself and go, yeah, that's appropriate. I, I'll add that to my teachers or I'll put it into their library. So um, yeah, you can you can either with have this library or you can add it to their to do list. Um, with this library and this content that's from Worldwide Swim School, does, do I have the ability to be able to manipulate like what the files called, what category it goes into, or is it purely already pre set up? No, that's all pre set up. The Worldwide Swim School, it's done as a pack and it's done to that. To those levels yeah. and to how it is. Okay. So, yeah, it's all separate. You can add 
um, 